Hey guys, it's Nate Bear with Go Hunt, and we're doing a What You Need to Know for South Dakota. Uh, that's right, South Dakota is brand new to the Insider platform for 2023, so make sure you get on there and check it out. But I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the state uh, operates, what they have to offer, and all the goodies. So, for starters, they offer deer, elk, antelope, bighorn sheep, and mountain goat tags. Uh, obviously, residents have uh, pick of the litter for all species, but as far as non-residents go, you can only apply for deer and antelope. When you're applying for these tags, the app deadlines are coming uh, mid-May and June. Uh, specifically, they offer a non-resident deer archery and a non-resident antelope archery, and those deadlines are coming up middle of May. So. Uh, pay attention to those. So when you're applying for tags in South Dakota, they do require some upfront costs. You have a prerequisite uh, license and application fee. If you're applying online, that's all you're charged. Uh, just your license and your app fee. You're not charged a tag fee unless you're drawn, but you do have to front license and application fee. So South Dakota runs a preference point system. Uh, the caveat to that is it is a cubed preference system. So some other states run a squared system, South Dakota runs a cube system. So just for an example, if you have three points, they'll cube it and add one for the current year. So that's three cubed, 27 plus one gives you 28 going into that application. <clears throat> there is no random draw in South Dakota. It is a first choice state. So they run off of the first choice on your application and then move on. Um, the good thing about South Dakota is if you don't wish to apply, they do have a separate preference point uh, buying season, which comes first part of October. So it's later in the year after the draws are done. So as far as tag allocation goes, uh, residents can obviously apply for all species in the state. Uh, as far as your non-residents, they can only apply for deer and antelope. So in South Dakota, for your deer, elk, and your antelope, they actually allocate 50% of those tags to landowners. So the way the draw system works is they take 50% for each unit, and those go to the landowner pool. And the landowners that have applied for those can draw out. They can take them all or, what, or not. Whatever is left over after the landowner draw then falls into the res, non-res tag quota. But for deer, elk, and antelope, off the top, 50% go to the landowner draw first. So some units might draw out, some units might have more uh, tags available. South Dakota does offer party applications. You can have up to six people in your group. Uh, just like Colorado and just like North Dakota, they do take the lowest point holder in the group, and that is your point total uh, going in. So, for example, if you've got five, somebody in your group has five points and somebody has two points, they're going to go into that draw with, at a two-point level. So, residents and non-residents can apply together in the same group. If you do that and you're a resident, you might want to take caution because if you guys apply together, res and non-resident, in the same group, you fall into the non-resident quota. So South Dakota does have a return policy when it comes to their tags. So you can actually return your tag and get your tag fees back. You can also retain your points. So it's a win-win. So the only caveat is you have to return your tags before the start of that season. So you actually have quite a bit of time to do it. Takeaway is you can return your tags, get your points back, and your tag fees back. You won't get your license or your app fees, but you at least get the tag fee back. Just like North Dakota, there's a lot of private land in South Dakota and probably less public land than North Dakota does. So be cautious of that when you're planning to apply for these hunts. Uh, really dive into your maps, do a lot of research, uh, roads, access, uh, private landowners, uh, rumor on the streets is, is there's a lot of, uh, you know, knocking on doors does help in states like that. There's a lot of friendly landowners in that part of the country, so uh, don't be shy uh, asking for permission. If you're currently an insider, you already have maps available to you. Uh, if you're not an insider, 
no better time to sign up. Or we do have uh, our Explorer membership, which is just maps only. But it's a very, very good tool to use, especially in a very uh, private heavy state like South Dakota. So <clears throat> do your research beforehand, even before applying. I would not recommend just applying for a tag and then trying to figure it out. In a very private heavy state, it's very good to uh, figure all that stuff out before you apply. Be sure to check out the app strategy for South Dakota coming soon. It's going to take all of this and break it down in much further detail. If you got any further questions on South Dakota, uh, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. We do have a promo code, which is DO50 for our insider membership. That'll get you 50 points into the Go Hunt gear shop. And thanks for watching.